And the figure shows a current loop consisting of two concentric circular arcs and two perpendicular radial lines. Determine the magnetic field at point P. Okay, so we will use Bad Savat's law. which says the magnetic field due to a current element is given by ds r hat over r squared. What this equation is telling you is this element produces a zero field there, this element produces a zero field there, this element produces a field coming out of the sheet of the paper, and this element produces a field going into the sheet of the paper. So we ignore these two. Now these are part of a circle. The field produced by a circle, circular loop, loop of current at the center is given by B is mu naught I divided by 2R. R is the radius of the circle. And if the current is going like that, the field will be, according to your right-hand rule, stick your thumb out in the direction of the current, and the field will be in that direction, coming out of the paper. So the field, due to one quarter of a circle, will be one quarter of that. So, in summary, the field at P is B is uh, this field is producing this current will produce a stronger field which is coming out of the paper this is a weaker field going into the paper so the net field is coming out of the paper and it's equal to one fourth mu naught I by 2a minus minus one fourth mu naught i by two b equal to one eight mu naught i over one a minus one b. Okay, so let's add a page. <coughs> So the net field is one eight mu naught i one so one minus b. Okay, now let's put in all the values. Okay, there's no values. Okay, so that's the net field. Right, so there's the net field. Okay.